Xiaomi has officially launched their latest member of the Xiaomi Mi 9 series and it is none other than the Xiaomi Mi 9T. So the Xiaomi Mi 9T is basically the global version of the Redmi K20 that was launched in China earlier and they are basically the same devices. Well, by now you might have already watched our unboxing video of the Redmi K20 Pro as well as the Xiaomi Mi 9T in carbon black version. But if you have not, make sure to check them out and I'll link them down in the description box below. But today I'm going to show you a different variant of the Xiaomi Mi 9T. So instead of the carbon black version that Alex has unboxed last week, I'm going to show you the Glacier Blue version. And this is an official Malaysian set. So inside the box of the Glacier Blue version of the Xiaomi Mi 9T, it's actually the same as the carbon black version. Wait, let's see. So inside, you will also get your manuals and also a hard case. And you will also have a USB-C cable as well as a 18 watt power adapter. So it's basically the same as the global version Xiaomi Mi 90. So let's put them aside because we are not going to talk a lot about what's inside the box. So this is unlike any smartphones that we have seen in the market today. So it has a really interesting gradient layer whereby the middle is black and the edges are surrounded by blue. It also has this flame effect when you reflect it to the light. But if you are someone who prefer a much more simple design, you can definitely get the carbon black version. It has this super stylish carbon fiber like texture that's placed under the glass and it has a really premium feel to it. And if you activate the selfie camera on both of them, you will also notice that the carbon black version selfie camera will light up in red while the glacier blue version, well, blue. So it really depends on which one you prefer. While we are in the topic of cameras, let's talk about it. So the Xiaomi Mi 9T features a triple camera setup that consists of a 48 megapixel Sony IMX582 f1.75 main camera, a 13 megapixel f2.4 ultra wide angle lens, as well as an 8 megapixel f2.4 telephoto camera that offers two times optical zoom. So I've tested out the cameras personally and I actually kind of like how it turns out. For its asking price, the cameras on the Xiaomi Mi 9T is great for everyday use. So the images are well lit and when it comes to portrait mode, the bokeh are well blended with the subject. And when it comes to selfie cameras, the pictures taken on the Xiaomi Mi 9T are not overly beautified and it looks super natural. But in terms of specs, they're actually quite similar. So both of them still get a 6.39 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display, a Snapdragon 730 processor with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. And powering these devices are a 4000 mAh battery that supports 18 watt fast charging via USB-C. But in China, the Redmi K20 is available in two variants. There is the Redmi K20 as well as the more capable Redmi K20 Pro that comes with a Snapdragon 855 processor with up to 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. But other than that, both of these devices are actually quite similar to each other. You will still get a 6.39 inch Full HD Plus display, a 4000 mAh battery as well as a triple camera setup. But the 48 megapixel main camera on the Redmi K20 Pro uses a Sony IMX586 sensor instead of a Sony IMX582 sensor that is available on the Xiaomi Mi 9T. So the Xiaomi Mi 9T is officially launched in Malaysia today and here are the pricing details. You got it, you got it, okay. So that's it from me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell icon so that we be informed whenever we post a new video. So do check out Alex's unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi 9T here and also Rory's camera comparison of the Redmi K20 Pro, the Xiaomi Mi 9 as well as the Xiaomi Mi 9T here. Whew. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Bye.